VIP was such a fun show. My original concept was that the um, the Tasha, played by Molly Culver, and Nikki, that they, they were kind of these crazy bodyguard people. They were they were over the top and, and, and you know always toting guns and you know and stuff like that. And that Pam would be kind of the every girl. She would be the every normal girl's view of uh, the normal person in the bunch. But of course, Pam being who Pam was, she became the, the wildest of the bunch. And actually, the rest of them seemed kind of kind of uh, more normal compared to her. I actually joined the show after J.F. Lawton had written a pilot and uh, enticed Pamela Anderson into being his partner and starring in the show, and they needed somebody with uh, television experience to keep things running, <laughs> and yet they hired me. Pamela had a very interesting take on her character, which was to downplay her sexuality. Okay, well, not all the time. You know, she was in a lot of sexy outfits and stuff like that, but we didn't do a lot of stuff of people kind of leering at her. The idea was the bad guys never drooled over her and were never seduced by her. They just kind of thought she was annoying. So, Gino messed up again, huh? Is he gonna sleep with the fishes? Gino's my son. My original idea was to write a Bondian drum and bass, really futuristic sounding theme. So I came up with this melody that I love. So that was my melody. That was my main idea. And underneath it I put this, well, I'll show you what I put. I put this exact rhythm here, it went something like this. And then over the top. Uh, so the executive producers come into the studio and I play this finished theme and I go, that's it, I got the great VIP theme, and they're like, that's cool, that's good, we love it, that's wonderful, you know, so this kind of thing. Well, meanwhile, I had, as every composer must do, I prepared a second theme that kind of sucked, to be honest. And the reason why you do that is because, see, as every composer knows, you have to give the executive producers, and then they go, oh, yeah, that's cool, but whoa, we love this one. So it makes them love the great one even more. So there was my great theme. And this one just went kind of like this. It was just a little simple idea I had. We always had this view that, um, you know, things need to blow up. Cars need to be, you know, crashed. We had our share of heartfelt moments when you could hear a pin drop. Like a grenade pin, ha! Ah. Um, we need to have lots of guns. And, uh, our characters definitely ran around with a lot of guns and they shot them. Pam pulled the show in a certain direction tonally. I mean, you know, Pam Pam is a larger-than-life person, and I mean, in real life, she's campy. In real life, she's she's over the top. Well, I'm sorry, guys. I, I can't location. get everybody coffee. I'm flipping pancakes. I'm making hot dogs. Look, there'll be somebody there to... okay, when you get okay. there, okay? Everybody out of the way. I gotta move this thing. Uh, I always thought we should keep it real enough so that you actually cared about the characters. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Oh, oh. 
Not so real, was it? The idea that, that we were going to play the show straight, I think, gradually fell away. <laughs> VIP, can you hold, please? VIP, can I help you? No, I taught you before. Why can't you understand know, how it works I know, now? I okay? you gotta, why is that screwed in there? Why, why, why is this disconnected? I just started being the producer. Uh, no, he's not in. VIP, no, um, okay, just one second. Just one second. Okay, hey. Jonathan! I'm sorry. I know. I just haven't been on it. I just really, I did the men's this morning. Very hard to get FaceTime with Pamela. I would get up at 5.30 in the morning, drive up to her place, uh, wait for her to uh, get ready for work, and then drive with her into work to spend time chatting with her and spend the whole day on the set. And then somebody would drive me to Pam's house at the end of the day to get my car. And the funny thing is, at the end of the day to get my car, I wasn't actually let in the gate. They drove the car down to me. I never got that. It was sort of like, I saw this guy in the morning. What's he doing, coming back here? It only lasted one day, to be honest. I did it once. VIP, can I help you? VIP, can I help you? Uh, wrong number. Go, 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 go. We're talking to the beautiful and lethal Valerie Irons, bodyguard to the stars. Beautiful and lethal, that's uh, not a combination we see a lot on the show. People are either beautiful or they're lethal, really, or they both. Well, do you get a lot of lethal guests on your show, Jay? Uh, we get uh, guests that are, are lethal to the audience that would literally murder murder the crowd and the ratings, but... but <laughs> no, seriously, how, how lethal are you? Well, I'm not the lethal one, I have to admit. Actually, the people that I work with mm -hmm. are on a very dangerous assignment as we speak. Really? What kind of assignment are, are they on? Well, I'm a gypsy, you know. I pick up my work wherever I can find it. My whole life is in that trunk right behind me. Well, you let me know when you're ready, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I am not worthy. What were my orders? Keep a tight watch on them. Do you know what the word tight means? I, I think so. Okay, get some outside contract players to sniff out their trail and keep an eye on them. Can you do that? Yeah. He's not napping. He's dead. Ah! This vial contains a lethal toxin. In the wrong hands, it could kill millions. Only one woman can keep it from destroying the world. Irons. Valerie Irons. And she's going undercover in paradise. Yes, nice! With a special guest appearance by Eric Estrada. Excuse me. Um, there was some James Bond stuff that definitely got, got in there. James Bond had his Bond girls, he had his over-the-top villains. So on VIP, we like to have a combination of that, kind of uh, an over-the-top Bondian female villain. You play this right, you get to keep the stuff and the money. I'll get my cut later. So it sounds almost too good to be true. That's because it is. <laughs> Why don't all terrorists bent on world domination look like that? VIP was uh, such a fun show to do. Um, we could do just about anything we wanted to do. Okay, the coast is clear. Are you sure you're a real bodyguard? You're still alive, aren't you? It was very tongue in cheek. There was a lot of comedic moments. There was a lot of playful moments. And really having a playful attitude towards the characters and enjoying them, enjoying them for their foibles and enjoying the various little eccentricities each one of them had. That was what was the real pleasure of the VIP. It just was fun. <laughs>